said in the introduction there you've been stammering for 47 years and it first started at the age of six. Do you know why? Have you any understanding of why it started? I've always thought it was with the upsets in the house mm. when my parents were splitting up. Mm. Hearing the arguments and the shouting, it, I think that's what upset me, yeah. and it's gave me like a uh, anxiety problem. Yeah. So yeah, anxious. And... Yeah, and then and... through school, I mean, that's that's when it got really tricky, wasn't yeah. it? And not yeah. just the pupils, but the teachers as well. Mm. Um. When the teachers asked a question, I knew all the answers, but I was too scared to put my hand up yeah. and to answer the questions because I would have been laughed at, because I would have stammered really badly mm. and not been able to get a word out. Well, it's like it's, this is the 1970s, so people less understanding then. It was it was crueler then, yeah. and the teachers would say to you, "Speak properly, you know, get your words out." That but, doesn't help at no, all, does it? No. And so this That's thing. That's what it was like in them days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and this goes on to affect all choices in your life because then, with that, you felt ashamed and you hid away, and your life choices you then made, your, your career, you became, I mean, you worked in the mining, first of all, and then you yeah. became a long distance driver, purely because you didn't want to have to face anyone or have those conversations. Mm -hmm. I chose that job because I knew I wouldn't be around too many people. Mm. And, uh, I wouldn't have to speak as much. Yeah. But uh, as we all do, we all do talk to ourselves. <laughs> I even got to a point where I was answering myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, mm. So uh, when it came to relationships, um, it was in 2014, and Paula, you, oh, you're now married, and we'll come to that in a moment, but you met on online, first of all, and you didn't know anything about the stammer to begin with. I think it, I think it was a joke. He made a joke to you online, first of all. Oh, yeah, it was just, you were sending me jokes. And... and so this sort of relationship developed, and you were ch talking online, and, and for, for you, Tony, you thought, at some point, I'm going to have to stammer. mention the stammer, because you thought, actually, this was going to put her off. Well, yeah, I did put in a, a message to her. Uh, I've got something to say what might put you off me. And uh, the reply I, I got was, oh, God, what you doing? <laughs> 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 and I just said, I do have a speech impediment, yeah. is the words I put it and then in brackets, stammer. Mm -hmm. And the reply I got was, so what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter to me. You have a lovely relationship now yeah. because... Yeah, we have. You know, you, you're, you're like his, you know, his wingman, his, uh, you know, his support girl, yeah. because all of the things you hated doing um, before the documentary, before the work that's been going on, you were telling us it was just across the river. Yeah. You could yeah. see us from over there when you were working on that. So, um, making phone calls, uh, oh. ordering, a, ordering a, a, a takeaway delivery, you know. Paul did it for me. But it, it, because it was impossible for you to do that, making a phone call, uh, answering the, uh, a telephone call, uh, torture. The more times I've had the phone put down on me because the person at the other end of the phone mm. thought it was somebody pranking, mm, you know, mm. and it did upset me that. Okay. Yeah. I bet it yeah. did. Well, you married in 2016 and you walked down the aisle and you said your vows to one another, but one of the big regrets of your day was not being able to do your speech. Yeah. There was all egging hey, me to get up to, to say it, to say the speech. Mm -hmm. 
that there was quite a few people in the room I didn't know. So I'm a bit... I was a bit conscious mm. about speaking in front of people who didn't know I had a stammer. Yeah, yeah. I prefer people to know that I've got a stammer before I talk to them. Yeah. You've got something in your pocket, haven't you, that you were going to... you were going to read out? Yeah, I have. Do you want to do yeah. it? Uh, I'll try. I think I'll love to do it, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. give it a go? all with you, that's yeah. for sure. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah. OK. It's for you, this Paulette. Um, I'm sorry I was unable to do the speech at his wedding. As you know, I was scared and nervous. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Um, I am so proud to be your husband. You are the most caring and patient person I have ever met. I feel so comfortable when I'm around you. Thank you. I'll be Mrs. Robinson. Oh, <laughs> 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 I did it. <laughs>